As a lot of you would know, I have moved house, so I've just put up my DX Commander in the background here. Uh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna show you how I've installed it here. It's pretty much the same as the other place, but I also wanted to show you the noise levels that I've got now here. I know uh, I've posted on YouTube, I think I posted a few other places about that I was worried about the noise level, so we'll see how it goes, but pretty much, basically, there it is. Got the radials out, I've just freshly mown the grass, that's why it looks a little bit dead, because I've I've just freshly mown it, but uh, the DX Commander is up in the air, so let's go down and have a look. Now this is a good example of how in a sort of limited area, you can have a look around here in the backyard, this, it's not a very big backyard, I mean I've got a bit of space over here, but it's just in this little corner of the yard, and uh, you can see how well the antenna fits into such a small area. So for those who have a smaller backyard, um, this antenna works really well um, because obviously even here, I can't really fit much of a horizontal antenna in. So uh, what I did was you would have seen the video that I did about the toroid with the, um, uh, for common mode current. So what I've done is I've left it out of the box and I've done that for a reason because I had a couple of comments on the video and a few other places saying why did you put it in a box? So I've left it out of the box and I want to do it because I want to test something. I want to test how good this ferrite material is in the UV light that we have here. The UV is very strong here in VK7 and I want to see if it gets brittle. So um, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine in the rain but I just want to see what happens in the UV. So we'll see what happens there. So it's just there and then the RG58 just goes off to the shack. Uh, got all the radials, five five radials I think bunched in there, which then go to the, the base plate and they're just strewn out. You can see just strewn out on the top of the lawn. Down in there is just in the in the garden. Um, so uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what it is. I've also got these uh, guy guy wires fairly fairly tensioned, and that just goes all the way up to the top there. Now you can see I've got the 80 meter element coming off to the side. That's just going down to the ground at the moment because um, I haven't set up another pole. I could probably I tried to put it over in that tree over there, um, but there was a bit of a problem where it bent the pole over. A little bit more than what I really wanted. I like it when it's nice and vertical. So I know that's just one of the things of having the inverted L, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put probably another DX commander pole over in the corner there on a post and then string the end of the wire up and it won't be as much strain on the top of the post. Um, in addition, you can probably see here I've got this um, camo rope which is. Uh, tied off to the side of the the top or the second yeah the top guy plate or the spreader plate rather and that's just to stop it from flapping about in the wind um, I could probably tie that to the top maybe and then it might stop it from um, flapping around too much and being pulled over by the the other element so yeah um, that's pretty much it uh, let's go in and see what the noise levels are like bearing in mind it's about Oh, 3 30 in the afternoon here so um you know not everyone's got their tvs on and stuff but it's it's pretty similar at night so let's go and have a look all righty coming into the shack let's have a look here oh turn the power supply on turn the radio on what have i got it on 20 meters so 20 meters is uh not too bad, that's what about an S, S3, S3 noise level. Um, and I'm hearing a heap more signals up here at this new location on 20 meters. Um, so the New Zealanders are coming in at the moment, but yeah, 20 meters is pretty good. There's a couple of, um, bit of interference here bit of a pulsing pulsing noise so not quite sure what that is um, but it's not really broadband 10 meters 10 meters is quiet as there's you know little birdie there little chuffer you can see there 
again I don't know what that is it seems like it's on all the bands but I could probably track it down but um, 12 is pretty good um, oops 15 15 is good no noise there 18 megs 18 megs is a little bit noisier that's okay there it is again that that uh, that noise uh, we've already done 20 30 uh, well I'm on, oh, I'm on FT8 there 30 is pretty quiet so that's 40 meters so 40 meters is a little bit noisier so it's about an S5 S6 noise level but you can see there's a couple of strong stations oh well that's a local so he's 20 over <laughs> but yeah 40 meters is not too bad it's kind of what it was before uh 40 meters at my old place had lots of birdies um so at least they're gone so whilst the noise level is up at least i don't have to deal with them and then of course 80 meters you know 80 is sitting on the ground so i can't really give you a, a decent test but i have had 80 meters uh just strung up temporarily and the noise levels you know not too bad it's fairly similar to 40 and i can hear stations on it so thanks for watching the video there's other dx commander videos as well that i've done i'll put a link to those up here so they should pop up now check those out thank you everyone for watching 73